Welcome back to the epic Final Fantasy Let's Play, where today we are giving that volcano another shot. Alright, took one step and we're in a fight. Fantastic, what a great way to start. Um, actually, you know what? Since, since that bullshit happened, let's just, let's just try out some of our new spells. Let's try Quake. Eventually. Here we go. Holy shit. Well, that worked. <laughs> that worked pretty damn well, I must say. So, um... Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, it's, uh... I don't know. I was gonna say it's been a while just because I say that all the time, but it hasn't. It's been a week. Um since I recorded last and since it's only been a week uh, we don't have a ton of questions but I am gonna go through a couple questions here that people left um, if you're just tuning in for the first time uh, I like to always ask my commenters or my viewers to comment um, and leave some questions either about the game or just anything else in general because um, I enjoy answering questions so uh, we'll be going through some of those um, before we get to those um, I can update you guys on some other things. Um, at least uh, what I've been working on lately. Uh, I got I got Black Ops Three uh, just the other day, and we had a um, we had a big party for the uh, release of it. Um, for those of you who don't follow the channel a ton, hold on, let me figure out. Forget, I forget how to open the map. I forget, I forget how to open the map. Uh, how do you open the map? There we go. Uh, switch maps. I want to go. What is that yellow? Oh yeah, it's my ship. Um. Okay, up, right, up, left, okay. So, uh, if you don't follow the channel a lot, uh, basically, when I first started this channel, like, god, like seven years ago, um, we, uh, did a lot of Call of Duty stuff. And, uh, long story short, start, stopped doing Call of Duty stuff for a while just because that was the only kind of fan base I was getting was Call of Duty people, and... I wanted the channel to be much more diverse and, and work with a lot of different games and a lot of different people and didn't want it to just be a Call of Duty channel, so I stopped doing Call of Duty for a while. But um, we did do one thing, uh, which was COD Thursdays, which was a, uh, a series where we played with the fans, uh, any fans that were still around that liked Call of Duty, uh, we played... Uh, with them and, and uh, played with a lot of the guys that you've seen from other videos um, and uh, it was a lot of fun and it was really funny and we did it for over a year uh, so it was, it was a lot of fun uh, but other than that Call of Duty not too much went on with Call of Duty especially since I didn't buy Ghosts or Advanced Warfare because I didn't like either one of them hold on I need to answer my phone just so it stops buzzing uh, so I didn't buy either of those games I stopped it Mon Warfare 3 um, but I actually really liked Black Ops 1 and 2 those were like my favorite well my favorite Call of Duty games Call of Duty 4 but uh, I liked the Black Ops games more than I liked the Modern Warfare games so um, uh, shoot I want to fight this sure Trying to be careful. I want to try to get as far as I can without 
too much damage. Uh, so, I like the Black Ops games, and I really like the zombies. Um, and my buddy and I have been playing zombies for years now, and we, we are obsessed with it. So, obviously when uh, Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 3 was announced, and they announced that they were doing the original Treyarch zombie thing again, um, we all kind of jumped on it. So, uh, when it came out, we, we got the digital edition, and we invited over uh, a couple people, and uh, we had this big party and, and played zombies, and uh, it was really, it was really fun. Um, it was, uh, it was pretty hilarious, because, uh, my buddy, basically, he, he works at Pizza Hut, right? And, uh, he broke the coupon system, it, uh, at the store. So, basically, through a combination of his own employee's discount, um, the uh, belly cards, which, if you don't know what belly cards are, they're just, like, a, um, loyalty program, you shop a lot at one place and you get discounts um, and then also Pizza Hut has their own like regular in-house coupons so basically he took advantage of all those three coupon systems and stacked them in a way to where he got it was at the end of the day it was like a hundred and seventy dollars worth of food for absolutely completely free um, so that was basically our food for the party and uh, it was it was quite a scene uh, he, he had it come to our house in two separate deliveries and each delivery had four pizzas uh, it was something like like 30 or 40 wings um, and a dessert and that was sent two times uh, over the course of the day and that was only for four people uh, so each basically each person got their own pizza large pizza and a ton of wings and a part of a dessert every for both both times um, so basically like lunch and dinner was an entire pizza so uh, it was pretty it was pretty ridiculous um, and we basically couldn't, I mean, we tried, but we couldn't eat even half, like, half the food that showed up. Um, so, that was interesting. And what was really funny is the guy that sent, uh, that delivered the food knew my buddy, because he works at the same Pizza Hut. Um, and so he, basically, instead of giving us, like, four boxes of pizzas, and... Uh, all the wings like separate and stuff he got a giant cardboard box and put all the food in the cardboard box and then wrote uh, care package on the top along with like Black Ops 3 along the sides and stuff so it was really funny he like showed up at our house and he's like I got your care package fuck Jen's gonna die damn it oh my god like everyone died so I was talking and I wasn't really paying attention and I wasn't healing Jen very well and now I'm I'm just gonna... Well, shit, I don't like... Why did Jen have to die? Did it have to be Jen? Alright, well, we're just gonna... There's no reason to waste potions when I didn't really get anywhere anyways, so let's just try to get back, and if I die, oh well. Yeah, that was, that was my bad. I was talking and just letting myself die. But yeah, so it was really funny, and... Um, so, and it was a lot of fun, and the game itself is really good, um, and I don't want to say too much about the game, uh, because, um, because I haven't played a lot of it, uh, other than the one, you know, we had two days straight where we played it, but, uh, like, in terms of the, um, the campaign, I only played one mission of it, because we just played zombies all day, and then we played some multiplayer the next day. But uh, out of the one mission I played on the campaign, it's really ridiculous. And I don't know if I like it or not. It just seems really goofy. Like, it's like they took Terminator and Advanced Warfare and, like, Titanfall and just threw it all in a blender. And that's, like, the story. Um, and I don't like 
and this, like I said, I only played one mission, but the voice acting, to me, is awful. And maybe it's just me, and maybe everyone watching this would be like, the voice acting's fine, I don't know what you're talking about. But they all just seem really uninterested, and I was like, this is this is just taking me out of the game. Like, when everyone's just kind of talking like, there isn't robots taking over the world, and there's not... You didn't just get two leg, two arms and a leg ripped off. Like, that never happened. You're totally fine. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's just kind of a little too out there for me. They needed to tone it down a little bit, or I don't know what they needed to do. They just needed to make it a little slower paced, I think. Because, like, within the first couple minutes, it's like you got your limbs ripped off, and now you're totally fine, and now you're doing missions, and you're like, <laughs> what the fuck? So, yeah, I died. So, it, it, it's just really kind of crazy, but um, the game plays well, at least. Uh, and uh, so, that that's like campaign. The zombies is fantastic. Um, the zombies mode is really cool, and there's a lot to discover. There's only one map other than the the giant, which is a remake, remade um, Darius. But uh, there's only one new map, which kind of made me sad, but the, the map is cool enough that it's worth it you know so um so there's that and then the multiplayer is still great it's just like the beta if you played the beta it's exactly like the beta they just uh tweak some things um i will say that it's the most balanced call of duty i've ever played and it you know it, it might turn out later once everyone gets to a higher level that they unlock something that ends up being really overpowered but as far as i could tell Everything is just really balanced. All the guns are really balanced. There's no equipment that's just like absolutely really annoying to deal with, you know, like bouncing Betty's or there's nothing like then there's no perks like Juggernaut or some kind of like perk and I know Juggernaut's like really old, but it's just a good example. Um but there's there's no perks that are like Oh my god, it's so annoying, I can't believe that, you know, you don't get yelled at if you use a certain perk. Like there's nothing that's that ridiculous so overall it just seems really balanced and it's really fun the only thing that I had to say about the multiplayer um, that might be bad is the maps um, I like the maps a lot but it seems like almost all the maps are really small and I don't know how I feel about it yet like at first I felt like man I wish it was just like one big map just so it'd be kind of unique but on the other hand, I like the small maps because it's harder to camp on the smaller maps. And it's harder to just sit in the back and snipe all day, you know, like you can on some of the other maps that are like bigger in some of the other games. So it's just kind of, uh, it, it's, it's a little bit of an acquired taste. You're like, man, I wish it was like a bigger map. But then as you play it, you're like, well, it's, it's actually kind of a good thing. Uh, and all the maps are very like close quarters. So there's not much, I mean, there's really not much like... If, you, if you're a sniper that likes to snipe from far distances, not like me, that I, I'm like a combat sniper, I'm like on the small map sniping, but uh, if you're like someone that likes to sit in the back and snipe, then uh, you might have kind of an issue with the game because there's not really many places to do that. There's like one or two maps where there's like a window that you could see a good portion of the map from, but other than that, there's not much going on in terms of sniping. It's much more like machine submachine gun heavy, uh, just because of all the close quarter stuff and, and even shotguns, you know. But I haven't seen as many shotguns actually. But anyways, enough of Call of Duty because this is Final Fantasy, not Call of Duty. So why talk about Call of Duty? Uh, but that's just what's going on right now. And then, and then next week, or uh, you know, probably by the time you see this video. Uh, Fallout 4 will either be about to come out or out. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. I'm not going to get it right off the bat because I'm not a huge Fallout fan. But uh, I did like Fallout 3 and the game looks amazing. So I wouldn't be surprised if I pick it up later like used or if they come out with like a special edition. I might definitely grab it because it looks pretty awesome. I'm just not going to go grab it first day because I have plenty of other stuff to play. And I'm not like... A huge Fallout nerd or anything. I just kind of liked the games, so or the only Fallout 3. Fallout 3 is the only one I've actually played. I never got any of the other ones, especially the old ones. 
Um, so that's it for, for games coming out, I guess. Um, lately I've been playing, other than Call of Duty, uh, I've been playing uh, God of War Ascension, because I'm getting the Platinum in that. Uh, that game's awful. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, it's a good game. But in terms of God of War, it's awful. And if, if, if you are new to the God of War series and you want to pick it up, for the love of God, don't buy Ascension. Because it's the worst of the series and it makes the whole series look bad. Because it's not as well put together. You know, God of War 1 was a masterpiece. God of War 2 uh, what got a perfect 10, I think, in Game Informer or, or PlayStation Magazine. I think it was PlayStation Magazine. I think they all got 10s in PlayStation Magazine, but... Um, it was a it was a very worthy sequel. Like they did a great job on that game, and then God of War three might be my favorite game, my favorite God of War game, uh, even surpassing the original. Uh, I I think that's one of the best. It it is one of the best s thirds ever. You know, because the third game usually by then you're running out of steam really. Um, but uh, God of War three just did everything right, and it's a fantastic game. And I highly recommend it. The PS4 remake just came out. Uh, but in order to fully appreciate God of War 3, you have to play God of War 1 and 2. So, because uh, they don't... Uh, well, for one thing, they don't really take the time to explain everything uh, very much in those games. It kind of just takes place right after God of War 2. Like, God of War 2 ended on a cliffhanger, so like God of War 3 just literally picks it up right where it left off. And doesn't really do a ton of backstory. Um, and since God of War 3 is the end of the series, uh, Ascension is a prequel. There's nothing that happens after God of War 3. Um, it's important to know the whole story up to that point to really understand the ending and, and you know what goes on during the game. So I highly recommend you play God of War 3, but I also highly recommend you play the other ones first. Uh, but Ascension is just is just kind of bad. It's just butchered, you know? It's like they took God of War and they're like, okay, we're going to do a prequel because we want to make more money off of God of War. But it's over now with God of War 3. So... We're going to try to switch up the formula and they just they shouldn't have they should have just made it god of war 3 but with different you know with, with being a prequel and, and different enemies or whatever but they didn't do that at all they tried to switch up a lot of stuff um and there's just there's just some ideas that they went with that just don't work uh the biggest one being the rage bar if you play god of war uh, then you'll understand that a lot of times there's like a rage bar that you fill up and then once it fills up to the max you could do something with it. Well in God of War Ascension they decided to make the rage bar pretty much necessary for fighting. So they made it so when you normally fight Kratos doesn't have all of his skills, all of his combos. And what you have to do is you have to hit enemies until your rage bar fills up, and then once your rage bar fills up, then you can use all of his attacks. Which sounds okay, but it just it just doesn't it just ends up being mediocre because it takes too long to fill up the rage bar. By the time you fill up the rage bar, half the enemies are dead. And since you get like no attacks until the rage bar is full, you're basically just spamming the same attacks over and over again. So it just ends up being really annoying, and you're just going around using the same attacks over and over because you don't have the rage bar filled up to use your good attacks. And every time you get hit, the rage bar goes down. So it just never seems to fill up well enough unless you're like a master. So it's just kind of... It's just kind of crappy. <laughs> it, gets, it gets annoying. And then there's some other things that are just kind of annoying, and the graphics aren't really that great. Like, I honestly think God of War 3 looked way better. God of War 3 looked amazing, and Ascension's just kind of okay. And so... And then they, they have the elements instead of different weapons, and it was a cool idea, but it's just not done well enough. I'm gonna run away from this, because that lizard can use fire shit and fuck my day up. 
But I don't want to do that because I'm actually kind of far and I'm not too hurt yet. Except I don't know where I'm going. I wanted to see if there's anything up there, but there wasn't. I think the only the only exit out of this is the the way I went before down the stairs. Oh fuck! Come on. Okay, that good. That didn't do that much damage. That looked like it was gonna do a lot more damage. A lot more damage than it did. Uh, so anyways, I'm I'm playing that to get the platinum. I'm almost done with it, and uh, I also went back to Borderlands 2 because a long time ago I worked on the platinum for that game and then I quit and I was like really really close to getting it so I'm going back and finishing up that could you stop? This is the third time in a row he's used fucking blaze so I'm finishing up that and that's that game is really interesting to go back to because I played that game for months of my life like I mean that was like the best game when it came out and now it's just really kind of hard to play like it's one of those games with almost no replayability once you play modern games you know like I was thinking about this the other day and I'm like where there's like a cutoff where games start to become less playable oh jeez, freaking lava uh, so like really old game oh nope not fighting these not fighting these fuck that don't do it don't do it. What is that? Oh, come on! You know, why put a fucking move in the game that just auto-kills? Like, come on. That's fair, right? Fucking dicks. Alright, well, you're just gonna leave your one life that you have left, and I'm just gonna use potions. A lot of fucking potions. So yeah, I, I was thinking like, so there's like old games, right? Like Nintendo games, like Mario, okay? You can always go back to Mario. Mario never gets old, right? Then there's like Kirby games and stuff on like N64 and like Super Smash Bros and stuff that are always fun to go back to. But then there's like this gap where like you hit like older PS2 games and like... I don't know, like, even PS3 games, like, like, uh, some of the first PS3 games, well, Borderlands 2 is pretty far in life, but maybe even older PS3 games, where, like, it starts to get hard to go back to them, because there's games, there's newer games that are like the same thing, but just better, you know? Like God of War 1, for example. It's a little hard to go back to God of War 1 when you have God of War 3 that's like the same game, but better. Now, for me, God of War 1 has a lot of nostalgia. So it is pretty easy for me to go back to it, but I'm sure for other people that play God of War 1 and then go to God of War 3, it's hard to go back to God of War 1 because it's just in every way better, really, unless you played God of War 1 when it first came out and you have, like, nostalgic memories of it. Uh, and, and, and I feel the same way like Borderlands. Like, Borderlands, you know, going around leveling up weapons and stuff, like, it's a very grindy game. And I just don't feel like grinding is very fun when the game isn't new, if that makes sense. You know, like, like you're okay grinding if it's a new game because you're you're leveling up so you can be like higher than your friends and stuff and and play with your friends that are on the same level or whatever. But once the game is old, there's it, it kind of defeats the purpose of leveling up because like who cares if you're level 80, you know? Because no one plays this game anymore, so it kind of defeats the purpose. And it just kind of feels more of a grind fest for no reason, rather than like something that has a rhyme or reason to it. So, but it, the game's still kind of fun. It, the humor always kind of, kind of makes it more fun. You know, the humor never gets old. It's always funny. So uh, that helps it a little bit. And the, the graphics are kind of an eyesore too, to be honest. But I think it's just because. Some PS3 games don't look too great on newer um, newer TVs, and like uh, the way I have it set up is I'm going through component cables because that's how I record, and going using component cables on newer TVs kind of screws it up. It, it kind of looks shitty. Like 
HDMIs will probably live for a very long time, and as long as you use an HDMI cord, it ends up turning out pretty well. But as soon as you go to component on like an LCD TV, it's just like, it doesn't look too great. So that's another reason. Oh, Lava Worm. I'm not too afraid of Lava Worm, actually. Especially since ice seems to screw him up pretty well. Boom! Or not. I swear, magic just does such random fucking damage. Of course, everything does. Like, fucking death doing two damage. What is that? This game is just so random. Like, you just did 21 damage. How do you go from 21 to 2? I don't get it. Makes no sense. So anyways, uh, I think that's about it for what I'm playing right now. Uh, what's in here? This looks interesting. So, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to, wanted to update you guys on. I'll probably think of it as I'm going. Um, so while I'm trying to remember what else I want to talk- uh, what the fuck is this? It's just an empty fucking room? Thanks, game. That's nice. 